Alright, so I just got back from watching Avengers Endgame, and the movie was complete and utter garbage, just like I knew it would be. I mean, proving once again how truly great I am, my predictions are off the charts. I know what's going to be good, and I know what's going to suck, and I predicted that this movie would be trash, and once again, I was right. You people will just never be on my level, but three hours, three long, boring, drawn out, goddamn hours of this filth, this abomination of a film. It was torture. Simply torture. in game, huh? Well, I couldn't wait for this shit to end. This was it. The end. The finale. And this is what you put out? This is how you end everything? This was shit. Hell, even someone in the theater, as we were exiting the theater, because I couldn't get out that motherfucker fast enough. But as soon as we were exiting, somebody was like, man, that was disappointing. And somebody was like, yeah, I didn't think it was good either, man. Like, this is what they give us. Even they knew that it was trash. And all I could think to myself is finally, finally, we are seeing more higher level thinkers such as myself that are coming together and exposing trash. I knew it. I'm seeing it from pretty much all over the place that people are standing up and saying, no, this was not a good film. This did not end things off well. I was disappointed. Now, of course, the biased reviews, now, of course, the fake reviews that were paid off to say good things are going to lie and say, best superhero movie ever. Oh, it was so amazing. But no, it wasn't. Don't believe them. Believe me. I'm the one that's going to keep it real, spit pure 100% facts, and truly tell you how it is. This movie is everything that is wrong with modern day movies and everything that is wrong with modern day movie watchers. Just no standards. What happened to quality, damn it? What happened to good films? What happened to individuals able to distinguish between good films and bad films? Now, I know what you losers are thinking. Oh, but come on, young. Come on, young. I mean, like, come on. You said you weren't going to watch the movie. You said you weren't going to go see it, and yet you did. You're nothing but a flip-flopper, man. You're a hypocrite. And listen, you motherfuckers, you better believe I was prepared to go nowhere near this travesty of a film. I was I was ready to pack my bags up and, and turn the other goddamn direction. I wasn't going to go see this trash. However... One of my loyal subscribers hit me up privately and said, hey, man, I really enjoy your reviews. I really enjoy your content. You make the best reviews on the Internet, which is fact. We all know that I'm simply the greatest to ever do it when it comes to reviews. And he said, I would really like to see you review Avengers Endgame in depth. So here's what I'll do for you, young. I'll pay for your movie ticket. I'll send you money to not only pay for your movie ticket so you can go see the movie, but also make a video of it afterwards. And he uh, donated something very, very generous. Not only did it cover the movie well over but it covered my time to produce this masterpiece of a review which i'm going to bring to you so shout out to him man you know who you are i'm not gonna you know give your credentials out like that but shout out to me uh shout out to you you know who you are and at first i was thinking about declining this offer you know i was like no amount of money could ever convince me to watch that trash but then i thought about it and i was like you know what I have a duty to bring my amazing reviews. I have a duty to the people to spit pure 100% facts and educate the masses of morons. So that's what I'll be doing in this video, in this review, proving why Avengers Endgame is horrible and why only idiots enjoy it and why you should not see it. So let's get right into it. Here we go. Young Defines Avengers Endgame Review. Let's get started. So let's start with the story. The story is a plot hole infested mess by some bullshit plot convenience Let, let's let's kick off how this movie starts okay so the avengers are just sitting around they realize oh thanos has used the infinity stones hey i know we should go try to take the stones from him and bring everybody back oh so they just they were just sitting around and they just randomly decided to do this all out of nowhere why didn't you do this before oh you know let's just do it now so they go do it and they realized, oh, Thanos has already used the stones to basically destroy the stones. He wanted to get rid of the stones. So there's that. Thor just kills Thanos, and then they just, you know, go on their merry way. And then we get a, a random five-year time skit, which is so stupid. And then by some bullshit plot convenience, a random fucking rat, a random rat scurrying around looking for cheese, trying to get, you know, doing rat things happens to randomly at the right time climb over this tool that works the whole you know quantum physics thing for ant-man and his team the rat just happens to climb over that and as it's climbing over that it activates something that brings ant-man back from the quantum realm the biggest bullshit i've ever seen in my life 
I've never seen such shitty plot convenience in my life. So Ant-Man returns, and he's like, oh, when he realizes everything's gone, I know. Hey, I have an idea, guys. Why don't we use the quantum realm to go back in the past and gather the Infinity Stones before Thanos and bring everyone back? Oh, we can do that? Oh, it's not going to work. Oh, yes, it is going to work. Oh, yeah, that's an awesome idea. Like, oh, God, it was just so bad. And, and of course, you had the, the, the skeptical ones. Like, it's not going to work. Iron Man's like, that's not going to work. I'm not going to do that. Only for him to end up doing that anyway. <laughs> oh, man, it was so fucking bad. So that's what the movie is. The movie is literally just them. And in and, and the way the movie starts, this boring ass setup for like an hour or so. Just set up this boring, you don't care what's going on unless you're a moron, but just boring setup. And then that's what the plot revolves around. Let's go back in the past, find the Infinity Stones before Thanos, and use them to bring everyone back. That's it. It's like the writers had no idea what they were doing with this film. It's like, yo, we are so. Uh, we lacked so much talent that we're going to use the same cliche overdone time travel plot? Really? Out of all the things you could do, you do the dumb time travel plot? So let's go do that. Let's travel back in time and, of course, bring everyone back. This is just the laziest. I mean, they had just reused the whole cliche time travel plot that's been done a thousand times already. To just undo everything. It's like, what the hell was the point of Infinity War? <laughs> and I knew this was going to happen. What's the point of of this? All these outcomes. Everybody's crying. Oh, everyone disappeared. Oh, oh. And you knew they were going to be brought back. It was so obvious. What was the point? It was so lame. And of course, you'll have some. It is a but come on, yeah. I mean, but with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, they were able to bring people back, but it's not all going to be the same, young, because we lost two Avengers. We lost a Black Widow that no one gives a shit about. We lost Iron Man, which is a shitty character as well, so he not going to be here no more. We pretty much go to lose Captain America because he decided to stay in the past and grow old, so he came back as a as an old man, and he not going to be no more. It was just like, fuck out of here. You know, to have this huge war... And the only people that lose their lives are, are these trash characters? Everyone else that died was just brought back? This huge war, and those two are the only ones that actually died? That is lame. The plot armor is through the roof. And speaking of plot armor, I mean the final fight between Thanos, Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor was horrible. Horrible. They were getting their asses beat, and for whatever reason, they just would not die. You know, Captain America's weak ass is taking hits over and over again enough to, you know, kill him, doesn't die. Thor, taking hits, 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 doesn't die. Iron Man doesn't die while he's getting beaten. It's just like the plot armor is just so ridiculous. It's ridiculous, it's predictable, and it's bullshit. You know, Captain America's just getting his ass beat, and then all of a sudden he holds out his hand and he's able to lift Thor's hammer, and and, and we're supposed to go crazy. He did it. He he finally lifted Thor's hammer. Captain America's worthy. Why the fuck didn't you do that before? Why did you wait until you were getting your ass kicked to lift Thor's hammer? Plot convenience. And then Thor's like, I knew it. I knew that you could lift it. Well, if you fucking knew, why, why didn't you tell him to lift the other hammer? You get a hammer and he gets a hammer. Why did you have to get your ass kicked until you pull this BS out of your ass? This is what we call ass pulls, people. This is an ass pull at its finest. There was no foreshadowing that Captain America was able to lift Thor's hammer. And he's able to do it just randomly when the plot needs him to? Come on! And speaking of just not having any creativity, not having any originality, they reuse Thanos, but this time they're like, oh, let's make past Thanos basically fight current Avengers. 
So they fight Thanos again, but what happens is basically Nebula collides with her uh, past self, so it's revealed what the Avengers are trying to do. So Thanos, uh, you know, catches on. He comes to Earth to try to get the Infinity Stones that the Avengers uh, basically uh, got together. And they just have this big all-out fight at the end that was not rewarding at all. And speaking of fights and action, there was barely any in this movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of these morons that cares about action and big explosions. I'm not one of you losers. I prefer a slower-paced, amazing movie that tells a great story. Problem is, the story in this movie is shit. So, let's be honest here. What people go to see these movies for are the action, the the fights and, and all that type of shit. But there was pretty much no fights in this movie. The only fights were, you had a couple minor fights where, like, Captain America was fighting himself, which was corny as shit. And then at the end, you have the big all-out fight, which let's talk about because, oh, man, the plot convenience, man. The plot convenience was just through the roof. Captain America sitting there about to get his ass beat, and what happens? Everyone just randomly shows up. Everybody that was uh, snapped back into existence due to the uh, plot convenience just shows up at the right precise time ready to fight and Thanos ends up losing it's just like come on you're telling me at that right time that precise moment that exact moment everyone just shows up oh it was so like this is just the type of shit that you're easily impressed with if you're an idiot Th these movies are catered towards like I said previously the lowest common denominator individuals that aren't smart enough like myself to see through the smoke and mirrors and it come to expect quality this movie was horrible it was just a one big fetch quest that was neither fun nor rewarding all the characters were bad the dialogue was cheesy you know, you had the whole Professor Hulk and, and Fat Thor. I'm like, is this shit supposed to be funny? Like, I, I'm, you know, nobody in my theater even chuckled. You know, the kids are supposed to be hype. And, and I, I heard the fucking kid, Daddy, is it bedtime? You see what I'm saying? Like, the, the, the little kids asking, is it, I go night night now? Because he was so goddamn bored with this film. If you if you have insomnia and you're trying to sleep, go watch this goddamn uh, film and knock you right the fuck out. It, it, how you getting some of the best sleep you've ever gotten in your goddamn life? And let's talk about special effects too, because oh man. Did the Hulk look terrible? And all the other action scenes and explosions, they were redone, or not redone, they were reused. Like the same explosions in Avengers Endgame were used in the other Avengers movie. Now they didn't think people would notice, and of course the idiots won't notice, but I noticed. I looked at this explosion, I was like, that happened in uh, the first Avengers movie. They just reused stuff. It was reused over and over again. You know, the the CGI was just so bad. You could tell just they did not they did not put a lot of money into this movie. You could tell they they did not this is a very low but I thought Infinity War was low budget, but this movie is very, very low budget. Like, oh man. They they didn't even bother putting any money into this film because it, everything about it just looked bad. They didn't have any good soundtracks. The music was lacking. But a horror, and there was like I said, so many plot holes everywhere. Like this, they they would show this point in time that didn't make sense. Then they it, they left so many stuff out, it, it, so much stuff out. It was just oh, it, it. This is not how you do time travel, man. This movie had no consequences. Uh, everything that was done in Infinity War was pointless. Why, why was Infinity War even made? What what was the point? Did we really need two films? Couldn't they have done this shit in in the in, in in Infinity War? Like, why do we need a, another three hours of this trash? Nothing happened. You you literally could have done Infinity War within the first hour. Thanos takes everything or whatever. And then the second half is, is doing what you were going to do in this film. Why did they need to drag this trash out? Oh, to sell more tickets to the gullible idiots like you people. Like I said, bad story that made no sense. All the characters were trash. You, that's the one thing Infinity War had. Infinity War had so many different characters from from every you know 
space out there so it you can at least say that it was more of a variety here but the but the main cast that we're stuck with nebula hawkeye captain america iron man captain marvel which is one of the worst characters i've ever seen you know Rhodes, all these characters you know the the fucking raccoon uh from guardians of the galaxy all these characters were trash man oh my gosh like out of all the people that it had to get snapped out of existence you left these motherfuckers like huh and it's like Marvel characters are terrible. Marvel has the worst characters, man. All Marvel characters are poorly written. They have no depth to them. Watching these characters on the screen was torture because they just had no depth to them. They were just such cheese, such cardboard cutouts. They did not feel like they were actually alive. They just felt like they were just there. Proving once again why DC is better than Marvel. DC has much better characters than Marvel, which is why Marvel continues to copy from DC left and right. All Marvel characters are nothing but copies of DC. I mean, you got Captain Marvel, which is just a Superman ripoff. You got Captain America, which is a Batman ripoff. You have Iron Man, which is an Atom ripoff. Thanos, which is a bad Dark Side ripoff. Just ripoffs, left and right, left and right, left and right. Marvel will never be able to compete with DC. It's just, it is what it is. You know how, how much of an idiot you have to be to actually like Marvel characters? Like, if you like Marvel characters, you're basically just admitting to the world, hey, hi, my name is Bob, I'm a moron. Hi, Bob. You know, like one of those goddamn AA meetings where, where they, you say hi, you, my name is this, and then they say they, they answer you. Say, hey, what's going on? My name is Bob, and I'm a, I'm a fucking moron. Hey, Bob, fellow moron here. Hey, what's going on, Bob? It, it's crazy, man. I was disgusted, man. I, I was just simply disgusted with this film. I, I can't believe this is the type of shit people pay to see. You know, DC just knows how to make films. DC knows how to bring quality when it comes to superheroes. Marvel just doesn't know what they're doing. The only people that are going to find this movie entertaining, the only people that are going to like this movie are complete morons, man. That's it. Um, I have nothing more to say about this movie. It, it was horrible. There was, Nothing about it was good. And it doesn't surprise me because every Avengers movie is trash. Like, every other Avengers movie before it was horrible. So this didn't surprise me, but it's just like, yo, I can't believe that you could do this bad of a job with a movie and have so many idiots with bad taste praising you. It's like you can put out anything nowadays and just be praised for it, even though you don't deserve it. If you're coming to this review, you, if you trust my judgment, which you should, because I'm the one that's going to put you in the right direction, I urge you, do not see this film. Do not give this film your money. It's horrible, people. You don't want to be like these these idiotic Marvel fans that just accept trash 24-7. You want to be on a higher level of thinking like I am. So stay away from this film. That's all I got to say about this one. Avengers, at least one thing, one positive that did come out of this film, at least this is the last Avengers movie. So we don't have to worry about any more of these trash movies coming out. So that's one thing that I take away from this. This is finally the end. We don't have to deal with this garbage anymore. Unbelievable.